What's up everybody out there in Eastgate land? My name is Michael Hurdle from Ride This Eastgate. Today we're going to be reacting to some crazy and insane TikToks from the Eastgate community. So put your panties up extra tight and buckle up because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Y'all you know I mean? Let's go happened to boosted boards. The electric skateboard company seemed like it was doing incredibly well, but that's clearly not the full picture. In 2017, the company made a big mistake. They decided to build an electric scooter in order to stay competitive, but completely miscalculated the cost during a trade war. When they stopped being able to pay vendors, things took a turn south. Upper management quickly left when they realized the ship was sinking, and sadly, the original founders ended up selling the company. What the heck happened Damn, to boosted, boosted board? board? I remember boosted board. Just in case any of you were wondering what happened to Boosted Board, that's exactly what happened to Boosted Board. <clears throat> I had to put this one in here. You know why? Because I'm thinking, though, this guy is living life on the edge. If you look at it, this rider here on this EUC, he does not have any helmet, any knee pads, any gear. He just has some goggles on. And you know what it shows me? He has the utmost confidence in himself. He doesn't need all that armor to weigh him down. No, he does not. He's cruising, look, 60 miles an hour. This guy's keeping up with the cars. Let me tell you something. I have the Atlas Pro four wheel drive and I think that thing can only max out properly at like 40 miles, 39 miles an hour. This dude is doing 60 miles an hour. He's keeping up with the cars. This video right here made me want to get an EUC just because of this, because I'm like, God, it's just so, it's dangerous, but we're all crazy anyway if you really look at it all our, all of us electric vehicle riders we're kind of nuts if you look at it so i mean it, it comes with a territory if you ask me let's move on you know e-scooters are more dangerous than e-skateboards here's why if you hit a pothole on an e-scooter and you're holding onto the bars then you're going to get pulled straight down into the pothole with the scooter Dang. but with an e-skateboard you have a chance to actually go forward over the pothole without the board my business partner jerry says that these e-scooters are literally a bone breaker system because they build these things that go 40 miles an hour with real little wheels that are super dangerous but what about a skateboard traveling at 25 miles an hour if you hit a pothole do you really want to start trying to run at that speed an e-bike on the other hand will clear a lot of potholes because of the larger inflated tires and suspension and if you get one with pedals forward your weight and center of gravity are going to be further back than that of the bike so you'll have less chance of going over the bars if you hit something hard so steer clear of super fast electric skateboards and steer clear of super fast electric scooters your body will thank you for it later follow for more the more you know <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you would disagree with this young man's statement here but um no he makes sense though in a two week old unrefrigerated pie to drive. figured i put that in there damn now this video looks more new york city-ish i don't know it gives me a new york city vibe and I'm looking at this video right now and I don't have that much context to it, but I remember someone saying in the comment section of this that a biker was going against traffic, basically going the wrong way and gunning it and crashed right into this electric skateboarder right here. Hopefully that guy is okay, but that was that was brutal. This one wheel crashes Another one wheel. The reflexes of the guy next to him. This is awesome. This is an awesome one wheel. This guy right here who swerved like that, he made me like one. He made me, he, he kind of brought me back to the one wheel realm because I'm like, oh, these one wheels seem like they fall a lot. I put that there. I like the dumb ways to die clip. You're going to get used to it. Trust me. After a while, I guarantee you're going to sing this song. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, this is not the mm. How do you feel about the results? Like my reaction face? What the fuck? Mm. Bike life kids, bro. Bike life kids. What would you do in this Bike life. Damn, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> feel bad for you e-bikers you guys paying top dollars for your bikes man shoot they're like little miniature motorcycles that you don't have to get right uh registration and insurance yet let's move on 
Ah, uh, these EUCs. I don't know. I put these EUCs videos in there because I don't want to just be skateboard. Anything electric I want to put in here. And I tell you one thing about the EUC riders. They are special type of people. They are a different breed of riders. And dudes, it's like you, you thinking I'm like crazy dipping in between traffic. These dudes, to me, the EUCs and the electric bikes and the scooters, they are the ones who dominate the streets. Now, look at this. There's another one wheel. I guess I don't know. I don't know why it stopped. Uh, just probably you one wheelers out there. You let me know. I know it's something called kickback, but I don't even know what that is. Look at that. When you got on your one wheel this morning and you were going out into the middle of the desert, did you think that you were going to be laying down on the desert floor looking like you're reading a book in the park, but your, your, your back of your foot palms is touching the back of your helmet? Look at that. Now, right here is what you're looking at is one of my worst fears because I am an electric skateboard rider and we have batteries in our electric vehicles that's what makes it go we don't need to have gas anymore and my question is and if anybody can answer this in the comment section I'm sure there's gonna be tons of answers and reasons but why why did this man's skateboard just catch on fire like that in the middle of nowhere and the fire department had to be called it was burning that long for the fire department to put on their jackets and come out there and extinguish his fire to the point you know what you know what you know what stung the most is when he kicked the board over to the side he, he just kicked it over and it just flapped over i think that hit me the most look flop 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 i'm not gonna lie that made me feel away and that's not even my board because it felt like when you're an electric skateboard rider you you can feel all the riders pains because we all like connected kind of you know what i mean especially if somebody fall you'd be like Ooh. but that that right there stung right there another one wheel broke just like that see one wheel you're not convincing me one wheel like if i take my one wheel out to go chill and i just do that that's it now within the defense of height and gravity i'm gonna assume that this was about a 17 inch drop probably two and a half foot drop if i'm correct and crush that's it i don't think these one wheels were designed to do that so i would recommend not doing that with your one wheel and just because of stuff like this i'm like how do you fix this how do you repair this you know i don't know call me call me one wheel ignorant because I, I i have a feeling i am one wheel ignorant and you can educate me in the comment section i don't mind let's move on Now, this is cool. I would ride the one wheel like this. Oh, 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 God. But that wasn't bad, though. That was cool. That was actually cool. But you one wheelers, like, people argue with me for not wearing a helmet. How come you guys are not wearing a helmet? Why is it just me? Yo, you understand? Like, that was an accident. I don't know why yeah, you have to you threaten to fuck me before. up. You didn't see me? But the way you ride, you're riding way too close to people right now. All right, well, Very I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen again. You're going to threaten me. You're going to that shit a little thick. You, you got to chill, though. You got to chill, because it's fun. I, I let it go the first time, but the second time, you got to chill. What is violence going to help, though? Like, if you fuck me up, you got to make your dick feel bigger or something? Look, just, 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 just don't... Just don't run crazy, bro. Yeah, That's not what this is about. This is fucking a team. We're not supposed to be trying to fuck people up. The way you ride right now... The way you ride right now, like, you're gonna get super chill. Oh, no, 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 you know what i ain't gonna lie i believe that these two individuals handled this maturely because when i first saw this video i was waiting for these two to start getting the scrapping going on i was like oh god I hope these guys don't fight because, you know, it only takes one wrong thing to make the whole group ride or the skate environment be tainted. So props to these two guys because, I mean, they the way they handled it, they weren't punks. They both handled their own, and they but they didn't do it immaturely. They spoke to each other, and they resolved it within a video. 
and I give them props for that. And I actually, it just shows you the maturity of the group riders. I mean, when I go on group rides, which I haven't been in a long time, they are always doing mature things. They always get along, and it's like a group family. So I gotta give them props. And from the way these two were arguing and looking, don't be surprised if these two are best friends now. They look like they'll be best friends because they already went through the initiation of like kind of cursing each other out, and they still boys. You never know. So you know what? Props to you guys. Yeah, always wear a helmet. That's what they tell me. But I'm guilty of not wearing one. I ain't gotta lie, sometimes I don't feel like it, especially when it's hot outside. It's burning up. I have that Roar Rock helmet. That thing is like a, a insulated thermo in there. It's great for the winter time and snowboarding, but you gotta get yourself like a little uh bam. Woo, you saw that? You saw that? My man's my man's went all about his business. Let's 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 analyze this real quick. And then when he fell, look 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 at how he fell. He was going to buy his business. Keep your eye on the ground. See how it looked like it was just a patch of messed up concrete? And then it just slipped him out. That's all. Those urethane that that happened to me on Broadway. It slipped me out and it slammed me and sent me sliding through a whole entire intersection on Broadway. Then he, this guy was like, this is a nice SUV here. I am not hitting this thing because I do not have insurance money to pay for a dent. So this guy curled up real hard. Did not touch the SUV. So props to you, bruh, bruh. Props to you. But you lost your helmet. So you know what? Put that strap on a little tighter under your neck piece. All right, man? Let's move on. Bad driver almost hey, hits bike, me by her. This ever happened to any of you guys when you guys going around? Tell me. Car let you see. Car give you the illusion that you're gonna go, but no, the car just cuts in front of you. That's why I say that when I'm out there on the streets and I see a car turning, I let the car go first. Because some of these cars act like they don't have no sense. The, the drivers, they'll stop and I'll be like, oh, time for me to go then. You're stopping for me. And as soon as I get close to you, you pull out right in front of me. So I felt like almost like you set me up. So that's why I let all the drivers go. I'll wait. Gonna have to do an accelerator these EUCs, man. I put these in here because I really, I'm gonna get one one day. My money is nowhere near right to get one of these right now. Ooh, damn, imagine if that was brand new. I'd be mad having that thing scraping down a mountain. I'm not gonna come down. Walk down. <laughs> oh, that's what, that was also my problem. I just, uh, I, I, I slid down. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> You see that right there? Yeah, yeah, there it goes. You see that? Closer you get the faster. You, the, the closer you move your fingers together, it initiates the EUC oh. yeah, yeah, to start goes. spinning. And when you pull you your finger away, it stops. Absolutely not. But I will not comfortably and confidently have that on my hand. Give me the controller any day, bro. After I was getting to to the end or trying to push the limits, then uh, both the, the front wheels came off. This was in 2015, by the way, okay? Just to let you guys know that. Look at that TSG helmet. Still look good. Yeah, all the way back then. Now, if I'm correct, I think that's like, what, 52 miles an hour? Broke the record. I know some people right now that just go home from work and break this guy's record. So that was them. But back, back then, it was like, you know, brand new. Just the, the urethane came off the chorus. Uh, both at the same time, which was pretty unusual, and I managed oh. to ride it out, so nothing serious happened. But Yo, this guy's urethane. Let me finish the video, and we'll talk about it. The urethane popped off the back of his tires. That's how fast he was going. And then it looked like he was just riding on two cans with labels missing. Whoa. Hey, what up? <laughs> Electric. Yeah, right. What you got? A Team GH20. Yeah, backfire. Yeah, I put extra battery. Damn, that's nice. Damn, that's so a like nice board the little kid got there. My legs are tired. I got 20 miles. Looks like a board. I see you, man. <laughs> this guy has an extended pack on his board. And the little kid wants to race him. But this guy said he might have went 20 miles. So his legs is already hurting. This kid already dusted him, right? He's like, what? Screw you, 20 miles, mother fluck, fluck. My man was out. Ran up on you.
You thought when you was when you came twenty miles, you didn't, you didn't expect a little kid to get aboard and run up on you and just and run through you like a train, but a train with urethane and a and bamboo. All right, got a skateboarder. And oh, oh, ooh! I kid you not, that happened to me on Broadway not too long ago. Well, a year ago, that happened to me on Broadway. I hit a patch. And I, it was going. I was going like probably 20 mi 25 miles an hour, and I just ran, and my leg gave out, and I said, "Ooh!" Shit! I slid across Broadway, one entire intersection, chest first, and there was one of those double decker bus with a bunch of tourists on it. And when I got up, I seen all of them filming me. I was like, "Man!" But I ain't seen it on the internet yet, so I don't know if you see. If you knew somebody who filmed me, just send it to me. I'd like to see that. Because I'm, sh I'm sure someone got it. I just put this here because I was like, ooh, look at that. I just wanted y'all to see that. Just, just, just take it in. Just take it in. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. You know, eventually, if I ever run into some bread, I am going to get me an EUC. I'm not going to betray the skateboard world, but I just might, I might step out on you a little bit. You know, be like friends with benefits, and then before you know it, you end up being my main beast. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Bam! I don't know what this rider hit, but if you look at it, look at the lights on the floor, and you can see the impact, and look at the light, how it's, you see it, like it hits something. It bounces. I don't know if there's one of those barriers that come up like this, or is it a chain that blocks it so no cars can go up or down or wherever he's going, but that took him out. But don't worry. He's okay. He called me as soon as he picked up his EUC, and he said, Mike, I'm all right, bro, and he wanted me to let you guys know. All right, so he good. Uh-oh, another one wheeler. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> See right there? See how the front just brake check you? Look at that. Yo, look at dude. Yo, that could have been a, a shoulder injury. Look at that. You see that? Whoa, my goodness. Roly poly. Whoa. Orange roly poly. At least he got the socks to match. So with him rolling, he looks uh he looks fashion ish If that's a word. But he felt oh god. Oh God! Don't worry, he's okay. As soon as he got up, he said, "I gotta call Mike." So he called me. He called me. He's all right. He's good. He's, he, he's already riding in his uh, his one wheel already, so he's good. Another one wheeler. I don't know. It's just I seem like one wheelers lose control after a certain speed. Correct me if I'm wrong, one wheelers. Right? Because I don't want to be dissing you guys ride, but I don't know. You you gotta win me over. I'm sorry. Oh man. Are you okay? She hurt. Look like she sprained her ankle. And look, she got her whole outfit on. You know when she woke up in the morning, she said, I'm gonna get my little can of drink drink. I'm gonna put on my Tron outfit. I got my dope helmet on. What she got there? Is that a TSG? She got a TSG helmet. I can't really see too well from that with the light in my face. She ready. She full armored up. The only thing she don't got is the full suit of armor, but you know, she's still she's still chilling. Mind her business cruising. And then something happened along the lines which caused her to end up like this. A couple weeks later, she was back on her one wheel. That's it. Take, take my word of Have you, you ever seen a one wheel nosedive? This is how it works. Take a one wheel and put a new or inexperienced rider on it. Have the new rider get comfortable really quick. This comfort leads to overconfidence, which results in speeds higher than the one wheel can handle. Mm -hmm. The one wheel will warn you that you're dangerously close to impending doom with pushback, push raising the nose of the board in a last ditch effort to slow you down. Ignore pushback, and this happens. Pushback. Last pushback. What does pushback Careful. feel like? Ooh, you see that? You heard that scrape? Brake checking you early. But I've learned something new, pushback. So it gives you a warning, but I guess the riders just say, fuck it. We ain't listening. I'm assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here's what a sprained ankle looks like. Ah, That hurt me and I was looking at it. That hurt me and I was looking at it. Yeah, that did hurt a lot. 
Ah, I just wanted to take off that shoe and let it breathe. Yeah, let it breathe. I kept trying to breathe it out. Let it breathe. Although your feet don't got no nostrils, it ain't gonna breathe. It's gonna swell up like bread. Your mom's also said let it bake. Because I guarantee you by tomorrow that ankle's gonna be swollen up. It looks good now. God gave you the ability to sprain your ankle and just get your butt home before that swelling happens. Because as soon as you sprain your ankle, you're gonna be breaking bread in your shoe, basically, because it's gonna swell up. I skated already about a week later, and I got some physical therapy, so we should be good to go. Alright, he's good. He said he was alright. He said it. I didn't even have to tell you. He said he got some physical therapy and he was right. But these things happen. This is how you prevent yourself from getting hurt in these electric skateboards. Let's do a quick analyzing to see what happened here. First of all, props to him from jumping over with that little green thing. I guess that's a popper-upper. I like to call it a popper-upper because it popped him up. And <laughs> so tell me the real name of what that is. Okay, a cone, disc. I'm sure there's a skate name for it. So he used a popper-upper. Pop them up over the skateboard that's leaning to the side for aesthetics. Then what the problem is, I think, here is that when he landed, you see the front foot skidded off the board. I guess his grip tape on there wasn't really grippy to his foot bottoms, so it slipped off. And then he tried to catch himself and then put all his little weight on that ankle right there. Twisty, twisty, fell. Now your whole day is ruined. Sorry, bro. But don't worry. He's all right. Now, this is a guy racing with an Atlas, not Atlas Pro, but an X-Way Atlas, four-wheel drive, and he's about to race. He's about to race a car. He said, give him a couple hogs to start it. Do a countdown. Woo! You crazy, man. You crazy. But that was dope. At first, don't front. It looked like he was kind of keeping up with that car. It looked like he kind of, the takeoff was faster than the car. But of course, the car got more horses on it. But look, 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 look. I mean, it's like, and then he's like, the guy in the car was like, what? Gotta make that guy step on his own gas. That was cool, though. It was pointless, but fun. This one was kind of stingy. This is oldie but goodie. Damn. Oh, God. That stings. Damn. Let's analyze this real quick. I just want to see real quick. I, for, I let, was, how, how fast was this guy going? I'm going to assume 30. 30. Him and his boy was going. Pushing 30. But look, you already see the beginning. Look, wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble. See that right there? He's already getting that little wobble going on. Now, I, I admit... I love to have my trucks very loose, so when I go to a certain speed and I get out of control, I get the wobble wobble too, because I like to dip in between cars, and when your trucks are stiff, you can't do that properly, so I understand, so it's a give or take, but look, see, it just slipped from right under his foot, slip, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, immediately, went from 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, to, to what, to 2 o'clock, and then 1 o'clock, then it went straight to 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So he was ready. And look, he did some Naruto. Now, that, that, he was not playing. He was trying to save himself. But I guess his sneaker palms was not sticky enough to keep him on the ground. Face up. Well, face down now. There has been a huge increase in e-scooter injuries, as figures reveal a significant number of people ride while drunk, on drugs, or without a helmet. In 2021, there were 39 e-scooter patients admitted to Royal Perth Hospital for more than 24 hours, while the number jumped to 62 in 2022. As trauma surgeons, we're keen for everyone to be aware that these are powerful vehicles and have the potential to cause serious injury. Research in factors associated with e-scooter crashes has also found most patients were not wearing a helmet, and a significant number were affected by drugs or alcohol. Our research showed that you're four times more likely to suffer a head injury if you are not wearing a helmet. As e-scooters grow in popularity, the government introduced e-ridables legislation in 2021, which requires riders to be over the age of 16, wear a helmet, and be subject to the same drink and drug driving laws as motor vehicle drivers. Whoa. Food for thought, right? We love electric vehicles, and sometimes safety, well, not sometimes, sometimes safety is very important because sometimes safety is not depending on how crazy you are some of us are crazy that's it
the most common injuries on the electric scooter are head, face, and extremities. Oh. And one in five of those injuries requires surgery or an ICU Damn. stay. Be careful. My man looking cool with his cowboy hat on. I mean, doing a one-hander. Yo, that's why I'm, uh, I'm not really a scooter person. You see how he did the one-hander and one-legger? See the one-hander and the one-legger? That was it. That was it. Yeah, look at me. Look at me go. Wham. Dental surgery. What the heck happened to Boosted Forest? We're back at the beginning. Thank you, guys. Yo, that was a good run, man. I really like it. Thank you, guys, for um, chilling out with me. We ride this Eastgate. I think we had fun. Tell me what you think about this new style that I'm making with this channel. Separate the channels from Micro Hurdle Production and ride this Eastgate. And please share this video with anyone you can. And remember, uh, all the TikTokers in this video, please go on TikTok and show them some love. Because without these TikTokers making these videos and uploading them to TikTok, we wouldn't have a good show. And I tell you, that was a good show. I love the reactions. And if you love my reactions, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and tell me what you would like to see in the future and if you have any videos that you'd like to share with me that you want me to play in future compilations send a link to ride this eskate at gmail.com thank you guys once again my name is michael hurdle from ride this eskate and i'll talk to you guys the next time i upload a video laters